okay so now we are talking we will be talking about like what are the things or what are the steps which has to be taken when earthquake occurs okay what we are studying what are the steps which has to be taken when earthquake occurs so now i think you all are very well aware what is earthquake it is sudden shaking of the surface of the earth it is that scary short movement when the surface beneath your leg moves when it moves along with that this the objects which are nearby that also moves and believe me it's very scary and really it's very scary that's what i can say okay because everything is falling and uh, you do not know what will be happening very next moment isn't it okay and why does it happen children it happens due to the movement or the due to the disturbance in the uh, tectonic plates isn't it due to the disturbance in the tectonic plates okay one more thing uh, do you think it happens only because of that children only due to the disturbance which is created in the inner surface of the crust or the due to the tectonic plates or there can be any one of more reason which can be responsible for the earthquake so you know uh, due to the uh, falling of meteors something sometimes huh? due to the falling of meteors also the earthquake occurs see most of the time the earthquakes occurs only due to the disturbance which is being which is created in the tectonic plates in the plates okay what we discussed in our last lectures uh, like the collision and the pressure is formed isn't it but sometimes even it may occur due to falling of meteors due to falling of water and due to falling of meteors the earthquake can occurs now still you know the nuclear explosions uh is being done every now and then isn't it by like many countries like it can be done uh, for the purpose of maybe checking or it may be in the wars or something like that so even nuclear explosion children give rise to some disturbance in the surface of the earth and even it can give rise to earthquakes isn't it then uh, you know like uh, the very important thing very important one of the part is also volcanic eruptions when the volcanoes uh, you know uh, erupts even that can create lot of disturbance and the earthquakes can be there see this three four reasons are there hmm? these three four reasons are there but the majority the basic reason is what children the movement of the or the disturbance isn't the disturbance which is created in the uh, lower surface of the earth due to what the earthquake occurs okay so now uh, it has to be discussed earlier actually but we'll write it down isn't it okay, what are the uh, earth, what is earthquake that we all have discussed we all know but at least we can write that what can be other reasons for the earthquake isn't it so reasons for earthquake definitely i won't be writing the first one which we have discussed many a times isn't it many a times means we have discussed that in detail the movement of tectonic plates the collision the jerk pass the slide pass isn't it the development of the force then development of the focus then epicenter and seismic waves we have discussed all that isn't it but we'll just write two three points just you know in one word what can be the other reason children so it can be volcanic eruptions okay this volcanic eruptions give rise to the what it can give rise to earthquake okay now next is falling of meteor meteor falling it can also bring the disturbance see what actually is happening only what is required for earthquake just a disturbance isn't it just the formation of the energy 
which is uh, you know which can be read more than 5 to 5.5 uh, scale it can it should be more than that so only that much of disturbance is required so that disturbance can be created in this way also isn't it so now next is nuclear explosion so these three can be also the reasons of the earthquake isn't it so what is the first one children the first one i'm talking about the original one the place that we have discussed isn't it okay you know children the energy which is being released okay the energy which is formed the energy which is created that means i'm talking about the seismic energy the seismic waves these waves have lot of energy children that is the reason the destruction is so much isn't it if the energy this also we have discussed that if the energy released the energy created the energy originated will be less there will be no destruction isn't it but when the seismic energy is more so more uh, you know destruction tremor is more and all this you know takes lot of uh, lives so here are some of the more few reasons why the earthquake can occur okay so what can be that it can be the volcanic eruptions it can be the nuclear explosions and you know the energy which is released it can be equal to you know the explosion of 3 uh, to 4 atomic bombs okay the energy which is released depending upon the magnitude of the earthquake be uh, like uh, very particularly note that point that energy which is released in the uh, during the earthquake can be equal can be equal to the energy which is released in the explosion of 2 to 3 atomic bombs but again i'm repeating that that it depends upon the magnitude of the what it depends upon the magnitude of the earthquake okay so the three reasons which are there except the first which we have discussed are volcanic eruptions meteor fallings and nuclear explosions these three can also be the reasons for the occurring of the earthquake okay now now what has to be discussed children now we will be discussing about the things which has to be done when the earthquake occurs okay so at the most important children very very important you should not panic you should not panic the chaos should not be there isn't it should be uh, you know more sensible should be see it's easy to say all this thing should be more sensible should not make chaos but then really it has to be done children i can you know it is like everybody knows that when something mis you know something wrong goes the first thing which is there is you know the fear in mind the scary atmosphere and automatically it brings chaos automatically it brings you know certain uh, things which can be avoided but that is the reason we are being educated that is the reason why all these things are being taught to you to behave little little more sensibly when such kind of uh, you know natural phenomenon occur okay so which kind of sensible behavior has to be shown children first of all the chaos the mess shouldn't be created isn't it the coolness the calmness is required okay that is very important and utmost important point now second is we should never you know uh, stand under the big hangings the jhumas that bhoot wala jhumas the fans and all such kind of things isn't it it can fall straight away on our heads isn't it and can take the life so shouldn't stand over there first of all if you uh, if the person i'm talking in journal i'm not targeting anyone okay i'm talking in journal if the person is inside the house if it is possible if time allows should come out of the house okay should come out of the house in the open and when he or she when the person come out comes out in the open shouldn't 
take shelter under the big buildings under the damaged buildings under the tall trees under the towers and all such kind of big structures which can again fall and can be very very dangerous isn't it so first of all if you are inside the house should not be uh, where should not be under the fans and jumers and hangings okay if you are on the bed if you are on the bed then cover your head with the pillows cover your head with the pillows okay if you are somewhere like that only then always should take shelter under the tables or under something which you can be you know safe if something falls one should never stand near very heavy object okay why children because if it falls it can be very very dangerous isn't it then what can be the next one children should be away from the electric poles if you are out should be really very away from the electric poles because if it falls double disasters as it did double problem so it should be always avoided okay then what can be the next one children like if you are there inside the vehicles okay if you are inside the vehicles you are riding see in journal i am saying if you are if you are talking children it is in journal okay so if the person is driving so whatever it is a two wheeler or a four wheeler should stop and should stand and should wait for the tramers to stop okay if the person is driving or riding the vehicle should stop okay and should wait for the tramers to also stop and then should continue so these all points has to be kept in the mind when earthquake occurs okay so we we'll just write this i need to clean this first of all so what heading should i write children i can write protection against earthquake okay protection against earthquake okay so we are talking about the protection against the earthquake how one can protect uh, themselves during the earthquake what are the measures which has to be taken what are the steps which has to be taken what are the things which has to be kept in mind okay so all the things we will write we have discussed a bit but we will uh, write and we'll discuss it in little more detail so first stay away from tall structures your tall buildings trees tall and heavy also okay tall and heavy so stay away from tall and heavy buildings trees etc etc because it may fall and can be very destructive okay always stay away from the tall trees tall and heavy children okay tall trees heavy tree like heavy buildings and all this one has to be very very away because what can happen it this uh, heavy structure can fall and it can be very very dangerous okay so this thing is no it uh, is there in both the cases like i uh, then you can remove the trees then what uh, when you are there inside the house should be always away from some heavy object isn't it now second point in house 
should not stand under the fans or heavy hangings or wall hangings isn't it should be always away from this isn't it now if you are on bed should cover head with the pillow okay then should move under i am not able to write children the table to protect okay i am not able to write properly now never enter a damaged or cracked building okay stay away from the water bodies like rivers and lakes now okay what can be the next point children now first of all we'll discuss a bit and then again i'll write few more points okay so first of all what has to be done children first of all one has to be very very far from the tall structure the heavy structure because it can fall and it can be life taking then in house should not stand under the fan or heavy hangings again this structure can fall and it can be very very dangerous isn't it then if you are on bed isn't it if you are on the bed can cover your head with the pillow because it will be soft and it can protect you from the damage or destruction or be getting being getting hurt now should move under the table if you are at home then can move under the table this one is a good protection okay then never enter a damaged or cracked building should not even enter under the damaged or the cracked building okay then stay away from the water bodies because if the the dams can you know can uh, be broken or the water something anything can go wrong so stay away from water bodies okay then if you are on vehicle should stop and should wait for tramer to stop okay children if the person is on the vehicle either two wheeler or four wheeler it has to be stopped and should wait till the tramer gets over or else it can be again very very dangerous very important point which we discussed earlier do not panic be sensible because in nothing will change if you shout scream nothing will change rather if certain measures are taken then there will be chances of like you know the person can be saved 
Now, do not panic, be sensible, should move out of the building if time allows. Okay? You know, sometimes what happens, children, that one slightest jerk uh, comes and then the uh, it is followed by the next one okay it is followed by the uh, stronger one so in this case this step can be very very beneficial that if you feel slightest jerk then if you run out of the house and stand in open it's very very important to stand in open children stand in open should stand in open okay it is very very important that one has to stand in open okay uh, so you know what i was telling that suppose you know sometime what happens like one jerk is there one slight uh, jerk is there like we can understand like it can something is wrong and you know if you come out in that time if you come out of the house and stand in open and if it is followed by the severe jug in that kind of condition this step can be really very very beneficial isn't it it can save life so these are the steps which has to be taken when earthquake occurs what children one has to be very sensible should not panic should not make chaos should not messed up isn't uh, then what has to be done this i told what shouldn't be done should not be you know should not make chaos but then what has to be done so always keep yourself safe by moving to the safer place safer i said safest i didn't say so safer place maybe under the table maybe under the you know some thing where you can hide yourself stay away from the hanging objects stay away from the heavy objects tall trees do not enter into the uh, damaged you know uh, buildings and the buildings which has got cracks okay one more you know stay away from electrical poles we have discussed stay away i'm not able to write children stay away from electric poles so stay away from electric poles very very important stay stay away from the gas lines isn't it okay so where were we okay if you are there on the bed do not just keep on sleeping please cover your head with the pillows okay it will give you a better protection then can you know crawl under the table then do not move under the damaged building stay away from water bodies anything can happen anything wrong can happen over here during earthquake if you are on the vehicle should stop and also should wait for the tremor to stop do not panic be sensible should move out of the building if time allows isn't it do not try to move out during earthquake if earthquake is there the jerk is there and has stopped then try to move out during the tremor do not move out again it can be very very risky then should stand in open should stand in open means what under the open sky do not stand do not take shelter under any man made structure or even trees stand under the sky which can even protect you then stay away from electric poles this is again very very important and the, because the consequences can be very very dangerous over here isn't it so children these all are the ways how uh, uh, how we can act sensibly what has to be done when earthquake occurs okay what are the measures which can be taken to you know which can increase the chance of our survival okay so these all are the steps which increase at least you know few percentage of the person to be alive please know the points and after this we'll be discussing what has to be done after the earthquake okay what has to be done after the earthquake 
now we will talk about what has to be done after the earthquake okay what has to be done after the earthquake after earthquake okay so what has to be done children after the earthquake like earthquake is over but it leaves it goes children isn't it but it leaves so much of pain behind it isn't it so much of dead body so many dead bodies so like you know so many people without house with lots of suffering no drinking water no food no shelter just imagine so much of pain and like pain of losing the family one uh, pain of losing the loved ones isn't it so these uh, conditions you know uh, is quite enough to collapse a person isn't it so now what has to be done for such kind of person who are real victim of earthquake who are suffering uh, like you know who suffered whatever so uh, just try to recall you know any incidents of earthquake which have happened which have occurred in our country and then what has to be done and what we did please try to recall and that's all we have to write that only and we have to not only write but whenever it occurs it has to be done in this way okay so what are the points children what has to be done at the time if you see you know some building uh, is fallen down some place where some injuries some thing has happened due to earthquake see obviously the police and the ngos they keep on moving they take actions but still if that area that building remains untouched okay it is not under the knowledge of the police it has to be informed immediately isn't it it has to be first of all the first action is that it has to be informed immediately and it has to be informed to whom children it has to be informed to police uh, at the same time if the some ngo some group is there nearby it has to be informed to them also isn't it and then publicly the help which we can do we have to do because when people like you know first step is what to remove the people from that mess to remove you know many a times the people are alive they are just you know buried they are alive buried under the this heavy concrete but those people has to be removed many a times army comes and even the army people support uh, and they do this kind of work as it is the first thing is what children it has to be what first of all the this people has to be removed from the heavy structures now uh, first thing i told police it has to be informed to police to some ngos some groups some social groups okay then second the people has to be removed from that uh, um, mess which is fallen the concrete the building parts okay then after that the injured person the third thing comes the person who are injured if you know the injury is very minor it can be you know first aid can be given there and there but if the injuries are you do know it's more than uh, it cannot be controlled by you it cannot be medicated by you then obviously the person has to be sent to what where it has to be taken to the good hospital good or bad it has to be taken to the hospital nearby hospital isn't it then after doing all this kind of things you know this is the first step all this thing it makes the first step all this thing has to be done then people uh, you know then the camps are made the where the people stay the one who has lost their houses they are they are loved ones then then you should you know help them also in finding out their family members in taking in getting food you know in serving food in getting food then what is in you know, small small things so this is our uh, this is our social obligation children this is our duty towards them isn't it if you remember you know when the uh, this earthquake uh, occurred in bhuj you know a lot of destruction was there so uh, you know i remember 
we collected few clothes which were in good condition okay clothes from the children and some you know even the food packets which can be used as it is sometimes because no because they do not have place to cook also where they are going to cook so some ready packets some which can be eaten isn't it which do not spoil also and can be eaten also so some we collected some no like the soaps the towels the clothes okay uh, then money was collected huge amount of money was collected children money was collected and then you know such kind of help was given which is really required for them because we are talking about the people who suff who like you know who might have lost everything in the earthquake so we'll write about this now we have discussed many a points now we'll we'll write about this after earthquake what has to be done so after tremor stops it's our duty to inform police and nearby social group okay it has to be informed to nearby social group or ngos this is of utmost important because without the people like if people are not knowing like you know because everywhere the messages will be there so it is very very important to inform that yeah this area is also there which is untouched by the police it has to be informed now second people have to be removed from the from the trapped places see when i say trapped places means it can be anything means it can be from below the concrete you know stuck somewhere or like any position they have to be rescued they have to uh, you know they have to be in they have to brought they have to be in the comfortable position that that is our duty to bring them in the comfortable position then third one to give first aid okay then to send the people to hospitals if injured i cannot write here if injured badly isn't it so people has to be sent to the hospital if they are really injured very very badly okay then relief camp has to be organized okay then then what you all can check children supply of food i will write proper or instead of rubbing i'll just make the frame the sentence over here only supply of packets supply of food packets isn't it supply of fortunes supply of food pack packets which is very very important drinking water should 
made available okay doctors for proper check up okay like in that area also isn't it then to help the people to find their family members okay then okay these are also very very important point which has to be kept in your mind so what are the important steps which has to be taken children these all are the very very important steps which need to be taken first of all you have to inform okay first of all the police has to be informed that this is the place where the this accident has happened see everybody knows that in this part earthquake has come the police will be already spreaded the ngos will be on their work on their duties will be helping but sometime if the area is left untouched by such kind of help then it has to be brought under the knowledge of some uh, agency some authorities police isn't it so it is very very important then who are you know buried under the heavy uh, things has to be removed then injuries are there need to be given first aid if the first aids are like first aid is quite enough for the injuries then it's okay or else they need to be sent to the hospitals okay then uh then after that the turn come of the relief camps these camps are very very helpful for the people who are really suffering now what has to be done over here now here this is a point where even you children can help you know in serving food in distributing the food properly to see to manage the uh, conditions over there you know to help them to talk to them to give them moral support to encourage them okay okay to to give some food packets isn't help them to distribute to look after the drinking uh, you know to provide just see the facilities the the way the drinking water has to be given to be supplied isn't it see one very important thing children in such kind of natural calamities you know the disease it spreads like anything see because lot many th the people are removed from uh, the concrete below like whatever whosoever are struck okay the people are removed but for sure people the dead bodies will remain you know inside the concrete it's not easy to remove each and every body very fast now when the dead bodies are lying in the in the in the city okay near the near the that particular region whatever when the dead bodies are lying just imagine the amount the number of microorganisms who will be there isn't it so dead bodies are there lot many microorganisms will be attacking and then all everything is disturbed no proper sewage condition is there that means uh, no uh, proper washrooms are there isn't it they, def they will be deficiting here and there which will again increase the microorganisms which will again increase the germs which will again increase the conditions okay you know, for the disease to spread so this has to be taken care of now in this condition to give safe drinking water is really a challenge because dead bodies are there then the sewage conditions are not proper then uh, the the there is no place to deficit you know the people will deficit in the open then again it is going to increase the number of what the germs and microorganism disease will be spread so that is the reason again i wrote over here that proper again the rounds of the doctor in that particular camp is again very very important who can keep on uh, eye uh, on different diseases can check the people and can see that is there any danger any any fear of any other disease to be spread over there so it has to be noted then 
again a very important point children that the people who are saved has to be helped to find out their loved ones their family members their, their no so it has to be done again it can be done so uh, it can be done means it can be done by the uh, children like uh, you so these all points are very very important children after all we all are human beings and this is the bonding which makes us keeps us together this is our also social obligation our social duty our national duty uh, being a human being it's our duty so never step back to perform your duty always be in your front you know on the front uh, 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 steps you know to always be uh, helpful to uh, you know to uh, find out some ways for them so this was all about what are the things which has to be done after the earthquake now we'll talk about few more points which are left about the earthquake so please note this point so that i can move to the next one